Mara Mendoza is a Salvadorian-American singer who has been in the U.S. for five years. She writes songs in Spanish about immigrant stories. Mendoza says she wants to pass Latin American culture to younger generations in East Boston and inspire them through her art form. With my music, we can make them to connect with their past, with their roots, so they don't forget who they come from and who they are. Some immigrant parents in East Boston also want their children to learn native cultures. Hugo Palacios, a Mexican national who has lived here for 14 years, sings in Spanish while playing guitar at Maverick Station. I try to give to the people not only the language, you know, the, the, the way we live, you know, the way we are. You know, this is what I try to do. Some young people identify more with American culture than with their native one. Colombia immigrant and 15-year Boston resident Nuni Garcia says how her son identifies himself is his choice. The truth is, whatever he feels more comfortable with, for me, it is fine. West Egmont, a professor at Boston College, explains that young immigrants have various ways of identifying themselves. They're much less ethnic specific in today's group. And it's not so much that they identify with their parents as they identify with their co-workers and with their age group. Ackerman says that peers can have a greater effect on a young person's culture and identity than their own family. This concept is key for Mandela to create a kid-friendly culture experience with Latin rhythms at her Ding Dong workshop. Children, they don't have any filter. They're just learning both languages at the same time. So if we do in Spanish, they will sing along. If we do in English, they will sing along. And if we do in Portuguese, they will also sing in it, even if they don't know Portuguese. The program is based in Somerville, and children from East Boston attend regularly. The story was produced by Zimojo, Maximilian, and Jahani. For all things Easty, I'm Jahani.